Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thanks for taking the time to join us today. Uh, my name is Brian Martin. Uh, I am a onboard customer success manager here at Passageways. Uh, I am joined today by Adam, Adam Jividen. He is our uh, onboard growth manager. Uh, today, together, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the uh, global suite for the onboard uh, meeting solution and how it can help your organization. Uh, so the onboard global suite is one of the three feature suites we introduced back in the summer of 2018. Uh, for those of you that are joining us that are on our older um, uh, uh, package structure with onboard, uh, the onboard uh, essentials, professionals, uh, enterprise, um, back in uh, 2018, we decided to divide those, uh, that, those big packages into more flexible uh, feature suites that you could be allowed to pick and choose uh, which one of those uh, structures, those feature suites, uh, gives you the uh, uh, best uh, value, uh, best options for your organization. Uh, if you have any questions on uh, any of these other feature suites, our governance suite, our collaboration suite, um, feel free to reach out to your uh, personal CSM uh, who can share uh, those options with you, what the differences are in your current package structure uh, and help you move forward. Um, but uh, today we're focused on our global suite. Uh, the uh, uh, adds uh, some some core functionality there to for those of us who are older uh, essentials and uh, professional package customers uh, specifically uh, functionality around uh, three major uh, features uh, the ability to do enhanced uh, security logging and reporting um, gives you the ability to create a global administrator who has overall permission rights within your organization uh, and the ability to create unique uh, instances of your organization, link subsidiary accounts for your organization uh, for use with different groups completely independent uh, of each other uh, outside the uh, normal group management. Um, just to go into a little more detail on that. So the the global administrator, where kind of is, is that starts where everything starts with the uh, global uh, suite. Uh, the global admin, it's a unique user permission level. Um, that user has the ability to adjust uh, org level security settings and adjust permissions on most every item within the on your onboard instance. Um, this can be super useful for groups, organizations um, that have multiple administrators or creator roles within their onboard organization. Uh, for example, uh, let's say you have an unexpected absence of a meeting creator. Um, right now, you would be stuck waiting on them to get back from vacation or back from sick leave uh, in order to get back into that meeting or, or even to allow other people to have access to it. With a global admin, uh, a global admin can go in there, adjust the permissions for a particular meeting and allow other users to have that same level of administrative access within that meeting uh, that your people out on sick leave or a hiatus uh, can do. Um, so uh, obviously with uh, those kind of requirements, uh, the we, we do have some security restrictions in, 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 in place for the global admin. Uh, they don't have the ability to actually view any content within Onboard. Uh, global admin is just a permissions controller. Um, uh, so for, since they would have, they could see every single item in Onboard to adjust the permissions on it, we don't necessarily want them to have access to the content of those uh, sections. Um, so the, uh, uh, as correspondingly though, because they can't attend meetings effectively, we do not have the global administrator count against your number of onboard user licenses. It's a separate permission, exists above and beyond your user uh, licenses, uh, so it doesn't count against your number of licenses. Um, and uh, because of their obvious security uh, requirements, uh, uh, things they can see, uh, we do need permission from a C-level uh, or equivalent within your organization to promote one of your existing uh, administrators to that global admin role. Um, besides permission controls, uh, the global administrator also has the ability to change organizational level settings. Um, basically go in and adjust uh, uh, if your organization is using two-factor authentication, uh, if they're required PIN logins, uh, et cetera, other, other high-end security functions, uh, even IP filtering uh, controls are available there for a global administrator. Um, they uh, 
also have the ability to generate uh, those engagement reports, those usage reports we mentioned earlier. Um, they are the ones that would go in there, generate those through for a time frame, um, and, and can print those out in basically an Excel file that can be dug into from there. Uh, we do recommend, uh, because of the uh, features, the, the, the kind of knowledge, background knowledge that a global admin should have to really uh, interpret that information, they probably want to be somewhat of a, a senior IT uh, role in your organization uh, or, or other senior trusted administrator. Um, you would obviously have this role be separate than any meeting login uh, that they would normally use to access information for a meeting. Um, so in that role, this is some of the information that uh, uh, they can, uh, a global administrator can generate. Uh, usage reports can give you data on the number of meetings held in a time frame, actions uh, that are taken, um, even how long often your board or committee members uh, are logging into Onboard, what actions they're taking within a time frame. Um, usage logging uh, also gives you a date and time stamp uh, for each time your users take an action within law on board. Um, not only what users, when they're logging in, what they're doing when they log in, but what IP address they're logging in from, uh, what device they're using to log in, um, and platform they're using. Uh, this is going to allow you to ensure uh, your board is not only properly prepared for their duties uh, in a meeting, but also give you the data to demonstrate their uh, engagement to, in case you have auditors or regulators that are looking into, uh, uh, pr looking for proof that your board is as engaged and functioning uh, as it's supposed to be. Uh, finally, we have uh, the third major feature uh, uh, capabilities of the onboard platform. Uh, and that is the ability to link subsidiary accounts. Uh, effectively, this gives you the ability to create multiple unique onboard organizations uh, for, your, uh, for your group. Um, let's take uh, financial industry, uh, for example. You can, uh, with the global suite, create a completely separate onboard instance for your holding company. Um, and then a completely separate onboard instance for your board of directors, and then even a third separate onboard instance for your committees, uh, internal committees, staff uh, meetings, et cetera. Keeping those 100% separate uh, from each other, um, and uh, the nice thing about that is uh, when you subscribe, uh, let's say you have 50 user licenses, um, when a user has access to multiple organizations, it still only counts as one user license. So you can have uh, that you know, same user have access to your primary, uh, your holding company organization, say the, the, the bank board organization, and then maybe some internal uh, committee meetings uh, in a completely separate organization, all with one user licenses. But guaranteed the uh, security of knowing that those are completely separate instances and uh, information won't travel between the, uh, the, the group, those uh, three organizations. Um, so that pretty much covers our demonstration today, uh, some of the different functionality of the global suite. I know Adam has some thoughts he wants to share on what we are offering as far as uh, options uh, for those people interested in exploring the global suite. Adam? Uh, thanks, Brian. Um, and for those of you that have yet to work with me, my name is, uh, as Brian mentioned, uh, Adam Jividen, and I am our onboard uh, growth manager. I work alongside our CSMs in helping our members of our Passageways family kind of discuss uh, and move forward with ways to expand their use of onboard uh, within their individual environments. So with the suite structure that we've uh, moved to here at Passageways, we've kind of sought to make our pricing model uh, a little bit more simplistic. The pricing of each suite um, is list price $180 per user annually. Um, however, as a thank you for your interest in the global suite at this time, um, we would like to do a couple things. One, um, we'd be happy to extend a 30-day free trial to allow you an opportunity to kind of get in and check it out in your environment. Give, uh, give the suite a test drive and, and just see you know, how it can be beneficial to you, um, as well as then 20% uh, off our list price. Um, now, for those of you who are listening in our nonprofit sector, um, we do have different pricing structures uh, that I would be happy to share with you, but those are on a much more case-by-case um, -case basis. So feel free to reach out to myself 
or uh, your CSM and, and, and they'd be happy to assist. Um, just getting that, that initial discussion set up and seeing how that could be of value for you guys. Now, as always, if you have any questions, um, please let myself or your CSM know and we would be happy to uh, assist you further in any way. Um, and then on behalf of myself and Brian, uh, thank you so much uh, just for joining us here today and being an awesome member of our Passageways family. Thanks and have a great day.